Has Shawnee B been hiding? Oh, tell me where in the world oh, tell me where, where has he been? Hello everyone, it is me, Shawnee B. It's been way too long since I've said that. Can you believe it's been 10 years? I really missed that time period back on YouTube 10 years ago. I look back fondly on it. We would think of all the craziest theories and it really felt like such a good community. It's been fun catching up with a lot of you guys over this past two months since I announced I'm making the final recap video, which is August 1st if you haven't heard. In a weird way, it honestly feels like connecting with an old friend again. I really, really really missed you guys. I didn't realize how much fun it was back then, but kind of thinking about it during this time period of making the videos and kind of getting back into that groove of making these teasers and the recap that I've been working on, it really makes me miss that. You guys really have been so encouraging. Even over these 10 years, it's funny, every time I post a photo, there'll be at least one comment of someone saying, okay, this is great, but when's the final recap coming out? And I love hearing that kind of stuff. It makes me feel like you actually care and want to see more videos. It's been really cool seeing the comments that you guys have been giving me during these teaser videos I've made. I made one a couple weeks ago, which was 42 days before the final recap, and then one last week, which is 23 days. Today's 16 days. I know Lost fans probably can figure out the pattern from that, so who knows what will happen tomorrow and eight days before and four days before, but I guess <laughs> we'll see. I really wanted to make this video specifically as one of the teaser videos to kind of explain to you guys what happened, why I never ended up doing the final recap so many years ago, where I've been the past 10 years, and also what I'm thinking of doing with this channel after the final recaps posted. Now I know what a lot of you are probably thinking and it's warranted, but Shawnee B, you said the same thing 10 years ago. Why would I think you're gonna post it now? And yes, I could just be pure evil and make all these hype videos and not post anything or maybe even worse just rickroll you guys but I promise you I'm not that diabolical I promise it's happening 100% it's happening so there's really no good explanation for why I never ended up doing the final recap each episode took me about three full days to do as you know most episodes were an hour long except the very last episode was two and a half hours and so during that time period I was in school I was taking finals I was on a bunch of sports teams and I really wanted to make that video so special I mean the very last lost episode had to blow people out of the water in my opinion so I kind of pushed off a little bit, okay, after finals, and then summer came around, went on a trip, okay, pushing after that, and then job happened, and one thing led after another, then a week passes, and a month passes, and then a few months pass. Now we're at a year, and I just felt so bad, and like, ah, I wish I could go back in time and do it, and the next thing you know, it's 10 years later. We never experienced how it all turns out. I had actually done the script, it was all done and finished back 10 years ago, and I never ended up doing it, I think in large part to not just the events going on in my life, but because it didn't feel 100% complete. Something about that script was like, ah, I just it just feels like it's missing something, like missing the soul of this video. That makes sense? I don't know, I can't really explain it. So I ended up going back, looking at the script, just throwing it away, starting from scratch, re-watching the episode a bunch of times, re-watching the whole series, and making a new script from scratch. Feels a lot better, at least from what I remember 10 years ago. And notoriously, during that time period, I made a couple update videos saying that the video is gonna be coming out in a week, as I've joked about and played many times throughout these teasers. Then I'm posting my recap for the finale sometime this next week, next week, next sometime this next week, but I'll update you guys a little bit more on my channel. Damn it. Nothing. Because he promised a final recap. But it was bull. And I kept kicking the recap farther and farther down the road. And I think the farther I did kick it down the road, the more intimidating it felt to complete the video, thinking it had to be more perfect and more perfect. And it just made it to this impossible task that I just put off for so long. Definitely one of the biggest regrets of my life. I know it might sound kind of stupid, but it is. I wish I could go back and just do it. It's because of the community you guys have built here on this channel and your love for the show that's ultimately inspired me to do this final recap so many years later. Doing this final recap has been on the forefront of my mind for 
10 years now, like I've really, really wanted to do it. And it's always been something I like, I'm just gonna do it. Someday I'm gonna do it, I promise. So when I saw that the 10 year anniversary of the last Lost episode, I was like, this would be the perfect time to do it. 10 years later, what better time? I can't push it off any longer. So the last time you saw me, things were a lot different. I was filming all the recaps from my parents' house. Guess my parakeet made a ton of appearances. And apparently I thought mutton chops were cool. Isn't that just the saddest thing you ever heard? So I thought I'd give you guys a little history on the past 10 years and what I've been up to. We have to go back. We, go back. we, back. we have to go back. Let's go back to 2010, right around the time where Bieber fever was in full blown effect. The iPad was revealed when Lady Gaga wore her meat dress on stage. Share to hold my meat purse. LeBron James took his talents to South Beach. Well, everybody is on pins and needles. And 22-year-old Shawnee B was disappointing his fans by not doing the last recap. Damn it. But since that mistake, here's what's happened since then. So I didn't really know what I wanted to be before going to college. All I knew is that I really loved editing and making content and I learned so much about editing while I was making the Lost videos for you guys. So I decided to go to college to study it more and hopefully make that into a career. And while I was in college, I met a girl named Quinn and I fell for her hard. The way my hands feel on your body, paper dancing in the dark. We got to travel together. You talk to your lost fans. Lost fans, I'm currently exploring the mystery of the black smoke. I figure instead of researching online and watching the video, I'll actually experience it firsthand. Oh, oh my god, it's over there! Ah! We got to experience some really cool things and just love being <laughs> dorks around each other. I fell in love super fast. After that, I went on a game show where I face planted a lot. <laughs> Little Sword Sean wants to go with Holy Fit. A bit of a false start here. He's on his belly and in the mode. Little Sword a little too eager on that Holy Sit that day. And they decided to give me the nickname Little Sword. So on national TV, yeah, that was <laughs> pretty embarrassing. Number 10 Little Sword, or as he claims, Totally average sword. I got to climb the Great Wall of China, got to see the redwoods in Yosemite. And they were beautiful and ginormous. And even snuggle up with some tigers in Thailand, which was pretty cool. Love the belly, sir. More, 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 more. And I ended up graduating college with a film degree. And after that, I actually became a professional editor and content creator. The production quality of my recaps back 10 years ago were, let's just say, not that great. That's kind of weird. It's um, if all those things are are true of what it says. Um, it's bad, right? Yeah, it's bad. So hopefully things have improved a little bit. My dad and I started a drone and film production company. Quinn and I still kept growing closer, still singing in the car. We got to see the Eiffel Tower together. We flew falcons at a castle in Scotland. She's terrified of birds, so that was a pretty big deal for her. And we even got to see Wicked with my family in London. Riding the tube in London was definitely an interesting experience for my dad. I think I could actually throw up if I keep watching that. It's been such an adventure and so much fun these past 10 years, but unfortunately, I've also had to deal with the most painful and shocking experience of my life since you guys last saw me. My dad, who was my best friend, and the man I looked up to, who I did everything with, developed a massive brain tumor. I had a great life. I wish I could be there for you. He fought the hardest he could, but after four months, we lost him. It was definitely the darkest time of my life, and it was really hard to get out of bed, but my dad used to say, never give up on anything, nothing's a negative always find the positive. And those are words I really try to live by every day, so much so that I made some sound wave art that I put above my computer to constantly remind myself and see a visual representation of his voice. And my dad loved Quinn, like the daughter he never had. And unfortunately, he never got to see me get married to her. Have you always known that you wanted Quinn to be your daughter-in-law? Always. But he knew that I wanted to propose in his favorite place in the world. Maybe you could be there when I propose. Wouldn't that be great? Wow. Well, I'd want you there. I want you to be there. And you can go with us to Florence. Oh, Florence is beautiful. And to Tuscany. And yeah, Tuscany. So Quinn and I actually got to go to Italy for almost a month back in 2018. And we had the absolute best time.
We definitely felt my dad's presence all throughout the trip in so many different ways. And we were super lucky. We got to stay in a Tuscan castle for one night where finally I got to propose to Quinn. It's just like the best day ever. It is the best day ever. Yeah, and this, this day has been so memorable too. Yeah. But I think I want to make it one that we'll never forget. So, and I are engaged. Yeah. So this is New York State. Then came the wedding planning and the bachelor party. What's I'm doing on? great. Where are you? I don't know where we are. Are, are we you on the bus for an hour? Are you at your bachelor party? Yes. Oh, how much you love Quinn? I love Quinn so much, and we're gonna gamble right now. Yeah. I'm gonna make money for this wedding. Okay. Let's go. Wait, where are we? On the bad part of the show. And moving out. I, we move out, the first drink I want to have is chocolate milk. And finally, the wedding. I used to talk to my dad all the time about getting married to Quinn, and I really wanted him to marry us, and he was so excited about doing that. We want you there. And guess what? We want you to officiate it. I want to be there. And even though he couldn't physically be there, we really felt like he showed himself in a major way that day. That was literally the only day of like the past six months that it was gloomy. It was sunny in Southern California almost every single day before that. Except that one day, of course, was super gloomy and we were just thinking, ah, oh, that'd be so great if the sun came out for a little bit. We were thinking it was gonna rain. So we were really bummed about that. It, luckily, it didn't rain. And I was just thinking, I just had this vision earlier in the morning. I'm like, right when Quinn's walking down the aisle, the clouds are gonna part the sun's gonna come through and I feel like that's gonna be my dad showing a sign that he's there with us and he's happy and sure enough that's exactly what happened everyone says it, but it really was the best, most fun day of my entire life. After that, we were able to go on a honeymoon to Bali, and we had the most amazing, life-changing experiences there. Queen. Ah. These past 10 years have changed me in ways I never expected and have impacted me so much. Last time you saw me, I was a boy with mutton chops, making videos from his parents' house, and now I'm married, working professionally in a field I love, and ready to finally correct a 10-year mistake. Oh, and I almost forgot, we actually got a puppy last week named Piper. Hey baby there, can you come here and bring Piper? I want to introduce you. She's coming, one sec. Hi everybody, this is our new puppy daughter Piper. Some might say she might even be the new Gus. <laughs> Despite what some of you think, I'm not the reason that Sean did not make the video. We were together two years after That is it true, came she, out. Did, she did get some hate messages. <laughs> but also a lot of really, really nice messages. Yeah. I'm super excited that this is happening and yeah. Piper and I are cheering Sean and Beyond and wanna watch the video, so yeah, this is us. Ooh, the Piper. <laughs> and that's where I've been and what I've been up to. But you're here for the final recap and I'm happy to say it's finally being posted on August 1st this year. <laughs> I know I was kind of being a little secretive and coy at the beginning of this video as far as the teasers go, but there will be a teaser tomorrow, day 15, 15 days before the final recap. And I'll show you in that teaser, but I decided to keep the final recap specifically just about the episode and kind of the show overall as a whole with touching a little bit on the unanswered questions, but I wanted to make separate videos for the unanswered questions, like the numbers and all those different things. That way the video is not like five hours long. And that way I can really take like a deep dive into the analysis of those unanswered questions, really tailor videos specifically to those topics. And that's also another reason why I'm doing this video. That way I don't have to spend the whole first 10 minutes of the final recap going over why I didn't do the final recap 10 years ago and where I've been. And like I said, 
at the beginning of this video, I really, really miss my time on YouTube. I've thought about it so much, like what would have happened if I never stopped? What would I be doing? How would life be different? And I'm glad that it wasn't changed because I wouldn't be where I'm at today and I'm extremely happy. But I do miss YouTube and I have felt like, oh, I'd love to get back into it. So what do I wanna do after the final recap? Well, again, the teaser, we'll talk about it a little bit tomorrow. But as far as other non-Lost related content, I'd love to do travel videos. I have a bunch of content from when Quinn and I went to Italy and Bali and picking up Piper and so many other videos that I think you guys would like and they'll be pretty cinematic and fun. But then also maybe tech videos and reviews and tutorials and lifestyle stuff and I don't know, any random kind of fun thing I can think of. But I think you guys would probably like the travel videos the most to be honest because there's so many of them and it really chronicles my relationship with Quinn. Sean, your rainbow game slacking. Bye, hi friends. Going from engagement to the wedding to the honeymoon and so many other things before and after and in between. There were so many fun and incredible experiences that we were able to capture on video. And I know it doesn't really go with why a lot of you are here for TV reviews and lost reviews, but I think I'll keep it separate on the channel. And if some of you guys are interested in watching it, that would be wonderful. And I think I might recap other TV shows. It was something I really enjoyed doing over 10 years ago. So if you guys have any recommendations for TV shows to watch, or a lot of people have talked about a show called Dark. I've never seen it before. Or if there's any other shows you guys like that you think would be fun shows to recap, please let me know right in the comments. I'd love to talk to you and hear more about that. The reason why Lost was such a good show to recap was because there were so many secrets and theories and mysteries and things to talk about as opposed to recapping The Bachelor, which I watch too. <laughs> but first things first, the final recap is upon us. Only 16 more days, finally. If you've liked these teaser videos and are excited for the final recap and wanna get them, I'm really hoping you guys can subscribe to this channel if you're not already, and also click that notification bell at the bottom. That way you'll get notifications on when the final recap is up. Not only that, it really shows me you appreciate these videos and you like this content and wanna see more. So again, I wanna thank you all for sticking with me as long as you have for constantly encouraging me to do this video and for being my friends. I love you all. Thank you so much for sticking with me. It really means the world. There's a teaser coming out tomorrow in about 24 hours, so stay tuned for that. And I will personally see you guys in 16 days for the last final recap. See ya!